Hi, Laura here and welcome to today's HIT workout. Today I've got a beginner's low impact HIT workout for you. The actual workout is going to last 10 minutes. We've got 35 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, 11 different exercises. So we're going to start off with a warm up and then we're going to get started. So start off with a little march. So this workout is all low impact, so there's no jumping around. Perfect for anyone that's a beginner um, or that's got any kind of hip, knee or ankle joint injuries. Take these feet a little bit wider. And it's going to be a great hip workout. I hope you're ready for this. Bring these feet back in. Okay, feet hip width apart, it gives me some squats. So heels stay on the floor, bum goes back. We're just still warming up, so keeping them small. So bum back, heels stay on the floor, abs pulled in, knees stay behind your big toes. Okay, we're gonna step forwards, drop that big uh, knee down to the floor, and then come back. So stepping forwards, drop that back knee to the floor, coming back up. Front knee stays behind your big toe, just warming up the body. Warming up the legs, this time we're going to add the arms, so arms up, change, and then we're going to add in a little twist. Okay, monster kicks, so opposite hand to leg, just nice and relaxed, don't kick too high, because we're not over stretching anything. Okay, this time feet turn out, abs pulled in, bum tucked under. Warming up the inside of the legs. Okay, coming back in, stepping back. And then step to the side, bring that knee in. So throughout today's workout, I want you to think about your core. So belly button being pulled in, staying nice and strong. There's a couple of specific core exercises in this HIIT workout, but throughout the whole HIIT workout we should be engaging that core. So that will help you trim the waist, help you strengthen the core and help you with these movements. Right, so I'm going to get the timer ready. I'll show you the first exercise and then as we go along I'll be breaking the exercise down while you guys get to have a rest. So we've got jab, cross and then a duck, so a squat. So bum back, knees stay behind your big toe. Try and keep your arms up by your temples and twisting, jab, cross as we uh, punch. Are you ready for this? So I want you to bring me your A game. So on a level, on a scale of one to 10, where one, you're sat on the sofa eating pizza, chilling out, 10, you're late for work and running for that train that's just setting off on the platform, we're gonna be working at about an eight to nine out of 10. If you're new to exercise, then maybe you want to stick around a seven to eight out of 10. If you're more experienced, then uh, yeah, let's go for that nine. In terms of your heart rate, 220 minus your age, that's your maximum heart rate. And today you're going to be working at anywhere between 70 and 90% of your maximum heart rate. So do the maths and uh, hit play and do the workout with me. So jab, cross, duck, let's go, jab, cross. Duck, keeping those hands up by your temples, belly button pulled in, adding in that twist so we get that core working. If you're struggling, then fair enough, keep facing forwards, even just keep jab crossing. So you can completely make this workout your own. The main thing is to listen to your body and do the best you can do. If anything hurts, doesn't feel right, come out of that position. Okay, rest. Obviously, you are going to be working, so you're going to get a bit hot, a bit sweaty. So the next one, we're going to start with a narrow chair. And then we're going to step out to the side into a plie. We come back into a chair, step the other way into a plie. Okay, so we've got a chair, step to the side, plie, back to our chair. Step to side plie. Now you can add in your arms if you want. If that gets too confusing, then leave them out. That's completely fine. If you're struggling, then just stay with this move. 
You don't have to step to the side or stay step to the side, coming up and down. So whatever works for you, as long as you keep moving, getting that heart rate up. So remember, we're working on about an eight out of 10, doing as many as you can in these 35 seconds. Okay, next one, we've got lunges. So the foot's gonna go back, drop the knee to the floor. Okay, now you can step forwards. If you want to make it a bit harder and add in a twist, get that core working as many as you can in these 35 seconds. If you want to work even harder, arms up. If you're really struggling, then just step into a lunge position and just come up and down. And then when that leg gets tired, change legs, coming up and down. Okay, join back in with me. Pick any option. That works for you. As long as you're moving and you're grooving, you're going to be getting that workout. Okay, rest. Next one, we're going to do a squat, knee, squat, knee. If that gets too complicated, just give me some knees. Yeah? I want you to really feel these abs working. As you lift that knee up, let's go. So we're doing as many as you can for these 35 seconds. If you can't keep up with me, that's fine. You go at your own pace. If this is too slow for you, then by all means, as long as you stay safe and you feel good, go a little bit quicker. This is a great thing about HIT. So many people can do exactly the same workout. And as long as you work at your level, you're all gonna get fantastic work out. Keeping those heels on the floor and rest, shake it out. Okay, next one, down onto the floor. We're going to go into a bridge. So lying on your back, heels close to your bum, driving through your heels, lifting your hips up and down. 35 seconds of this. Let's go. If you want to make it harder, you can lift one foot off the floor. So you feel this in the back of your legs, in your butt, driving through those heels, doing as many as you can for these 35 seconds. If at any point you need to rest and shake it out, do so and then just jump back in as soon as you're ready. Thinking you can't do any more, the timer kicks in. So when you 
think you can't do any more, give me one or two more reps and before you know it, that time limit is going to be beeping. So next one, plank. So you can be in high plank, knee to elbow. If that's too much, come onto your forearms if you want to rest those wrists. Let's go. So really using the abs to drive that knee forward. Keep smiling, keep breathing. Doing as many as you can. Okay, next one, sitting on the floor. We're gonna do a basic sit up, so hand by tempos. You're gonna sit up, jab, cross. Okay, we're gonna do this facing you. Are you ready for this? So sit up, jab, cross. Keeping those hands by your temples. Keep smiling. Keep breathing. Do the best you can do. Okay, time. The last one, just for you. We're gonna work, we're gonna do a burpees and build up. So hands come down, we step back, we step forward, and we stand up. If you're feeling energetic and you know a full on burpee, then go for it. But this is staying low impact. So I'm just gonna walk it through as we come down to the floor, stepping back, stepping in, coming up. Down to the floor. So if you struggle with burpees, this is a great one to get you started with. And this is our last exercise, so give me the best you've got. Okay, that's it. We are done. So march it out. Well done, great workout. Now, you've done your 10 minute hit workout for today. Fantastic. If you've got the time, if you've got the energy and you're feeling good, hit replay and go for this workout again. If not, then well done for doing this workout. You've started the day off strong or perhaps it's the evening wherever you are. Into a calf stretch. Well done for getting off the sofa and doing that workout. Great work. And look out for more hip workouts coming your way. So into a calf stretch, heel is into the floor, changing legs. So really important when you finish exercising, you don't suddenly just stop. You've got to keep your body moving. So you're pumping the blood back to your heart. And you've got to have a little stretch so you don't wake up all achy and stiff tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed that workout. Thank you for taking the time and doing it. Drop me a message, drop me a comment. Let me know once you've done the workout and how you got on. So, um, hamstring stretch. Back leg is bent, front leg is straight. Stretching out these legs. Tricep stretch. Work those old finger wings today. A little side stretch. Okay, feet together, breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in. Breathing out, that's one, breathing in, breathing out. When you are doing these workouts or any other kind of workout, make sure you are warming up and doing your cool down and stretching. 
So thank you again for doing this workout. It's been amazing. Hope you've enjoyed it. More workouts are coming your way. Drop me a message, comment, like, share, get in contact with me and let me know what you've done this workout and how you got on. And uh, yeah, let's keep moving and grooving. Speak to you later. Bye-bye.